All the pros missed it 15 years ago. An amateur with a $100 camera was the only one filming during one of the most tragic news events of our time, the assassination of John Kennedy. But tomorrow, the pros will be ready. An easy $1 million of equipment is in Dallas to record every moment of the recreation from almost every angle. Cameras with telephoto lenses will be perched on the roof of the Hyatt Regency Hotel. More than 30 journalists have signed up for seats on the asphalt top. Others will find positions in nearby buildings or as close to the street as police will allow them to go. The work started this afternoon as acoustical experts met with Dallas police to discuss the recreation. No one is saying much about the exact plans, and police say they aren't even sure who will fire the Italian rifles during the test. But sometime during the night, technicians will set up sophisticated audio equipment to tape the gunshots, which will be fired first from the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository where the Warren Commission said Lee Harvey Oswald stood as he shot at the motorcade. Police say the sharpshooters may then move to other areas for still more recordings. The experts will then compare the sound of tomorrow's shots with a scratchy recording made 15 years ago when a traffic policeman inadvertently left his radio on. In contrast to the noisy parade the day of the assassination, the streets will be eerily quiet and vacant tomorrow. Police will set up barricades to seal off several blocks surrounding the depository. But Deputy Chief John Driscoll says that shouldn't make any difference. General, what I understand is that the, the equipment is so sophisticated that it screens everything out other than just the very particular thing they're looking at. And that's the same thing they'll do with the other tape? Yes, right. They've already done that with the other tape, I understand. All the attention is understandable. If the comparison shows that the shots on the original tape were indeed shots and not echoes, it could present the biggest challenge yet to the Warren Commission's report and perhaps indicate that Lee Harvey Oswald was not the only one shooting on November 22nd. That's a big if, and many people are skeptical. Karen Parfit, The Texas News.